Plus. If you like memes and computer building in future, y'all can follow me at twitch.tv slash wolfsbane with two e's. Sorry, sell out. <laughs>
Bear with me guys, my first time building a PC. I'm just going to check all the contents of everything inside. Okay, so all the instructions is inside, which we will be using later. But at this point of time, I'm going to be as um, handy as possible. I'm going to make myself appear as handy as possible. Okay, and we will first unveil this um, three. You see, I was about to forget again, you see, but yeah, I'm sorry, AMD. Sorry, Ryzen. I love, I love you a lot. I'm using... I'm using an AMD Ryzen myself, okay? So, okay, let me just unveil this first. When I take this out, you guys can see the wonderful and beautiful AMD Ryzen. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> AMD Ryzen. <laughs> you see, I, I am forgetting all the names here. Come on, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put this in to the ITX, okay? I'm gonna put this into the ITX motherboard. So right now, I have to remove this first. So fun fact, a little bird once told me that there is a very important triangle hidden somewhere in this motherboard, uh, in, this, in this chip. So I'm gonna take a look. What is this called? What, what, what do I call this again? Uh, the, what is the specifications of this? Like in, in, do I call this a chip or do I call this? CPU, yes! I'm sorry, you see, obviously they have never built a computer before. I know what a CPU is, but then for the for the lack of better of word, I could not name this at that point of time, but it doesn't matter. So, just for the wonderful placement of branding, dear Asus, your beautiful branding is now available over here for everybody to see because that beautiful logo, we gotta show it, we gotta tell it, we gotta tell the whole world how wonderful this logo is right now. As someone who has never built a PC before, I, I somewhat know the steps, but bear with me on this. I will now remove the pin. It's up! I didn't break anything! I didn't break anything! Okay, okay, it's, it's, it's going still, okay. And now, another little bird once told me that there is another triangle embedded in this motherboard. So I am going to be finding this triangle right now just for everybody's point of view I think the triangle is somewhere over here so like I said the Bermuda triangle over here must match the other Bermuda triangle over here and we will now start to put it in so this is like the moment of truth so here we go guys I'm gonna start putting it in right now and I am trying to figure out the location. It doesn't... Oh! It fits! It fits! Can you guys see? It fits, I think. Because I have not put the pin down, so I don't know if it fits. But here we go. And it's in! Okay, so now we're going to put in the SSD. So... We're gonna put in the 970 EVO Plus Samsung SSD in. Okay, right now I'm gonna go in and remove this first. After that, we gotta unscrew this portion and put the SSD inside. Now we are going to put it in. As you can see, this is an NVMe, so it's really small. And nowadays, like most SSDs, they come in this size and it's a lot of storage. So it looks more compact and your computer will be really aesthetically pleasing, like my computer. So then I'm using an NVMe myself. I'm just going to unscrew this really quickly. We are still able to get the screws out, so... It's out, and then I will remove the heatsink now, and I'll just put it here real quick. So I'm going to just take this out really quickly. Hey, magnetic screwdriver! Woo, I'm so excited! I've never been so excited for a magnetic screwdriver, but here we are today, doing exciting things! with Poison PC and Asus and of course we are going to screw the screw in as well now that everything is uh, in I'm just gonna put this in as well just to make sure this is intact and then we can put the heat sink back as I'm making my way down with the screws we are done with the heat sink and the NVMe and we are going to start putting in the RAM. So we have two of these here from Corsair. I'm going to be putting one of it in first. Let me put down this one first. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I'm going to take this out. Okay, it's already out. And then I'm just going to shove this in. Okay, it doesn't sound right, but I'm going to shove it in. Okay, let's go. Is it in? Click! 
That's right. Okay, so if you hear the click sound, it means you're doing it right. Click! Double kill! Okay, it's not really a kill, but okay. Now that both of the rams are in, I am now going to remove the screws from this area so that we can put in the AIO standoff. So let me just put this real quick so that everybody doesn't have to wait for me to unscrew. It's out! So let me just put this back in first because I don't want to lose the screws because that's, that's bound to happen with me around. So let's just remove this first and just to let y'all know don't remove this one first because below there is another plate and we don't want that to drop out because that's going to be a disaster. So I'm just going to grab the AIO standoffs and we're just going to put it in real quick. I'm not obviously a very technical person. I think I've mentioned this a couple of times earlier. I said the same thing the start before I started to screw this in and it's in. So now that this is okay, we can now do the other side. Ding! Now that it's out, we can put in the AIO standoffs again. You know, this looks like the tower that I see in some of the games that I play. It looks like a tower, doesn't it? Does it, does it not? Does it not look like a tower to you guys? Okay. So now we gotta install all the parts to the Z11 case. But first, let's read the installation guide. <sighs> You know what? Let's just wing it. And of course, if you like the video up to this point, remember to like and share. We're gonna go put in the power supply and the power supply that we will be using is the ROG Thor 850 Watt Platinum. And wait a minute, I'm still having my glasses. I can't see anything. Guys, you know, looking cool is nice and all, but you know what, this ain't gonna work, so let's just put it aside. My very limited knowledge of uh, computer building, I, which is basically close to none, I think before that, we, before we slot in, I need to remove all this. So I'm gonna start removing. I'm sorry if, you know, the way I'm removing is like tearing a rose petal, you know, it's so beautiful, but at the same time, we don't need it anymore. So it's like how fallen rose petals would fall off the ground, you know, making it really weird and obviously a lot uh, of trash lying around. So we don't want that. So I'm just gonna like, meh. We're just gonna like leave that aside. I'm pretty sure this goes here. Click. I can be sure that this is the right side. Okay. Click. How does one person do all these things. Computer builders, I respect you. Poison PC, I respect you. Let's do it. Okay. And we should be done. Click, 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 and click. And we are ready to put this into the case. I'm gonna just stand here, act like I'm really handy and everything, you know. But if you like Wolf's Bane with 2E doing this, Remember guys, while I am uh, trying to remove this right now, I'm just gonna do some like awesome plugs. If you like memes and computer building in future, y'all can follow me at twitch.tv slash wolfsbane with two e's. Sorry, sell out. Huh? Nothing happened. Okay, we'll go pick that screwdriver up later, but it's okay. I thought this was magnetic. Guess not. I am going to slowly put this in right now. Push. I think there are some cables inside that I need to push in and I think it's in! I'm just gonna continue talking. Hey, you know guys, how's your day? I am working with a screwdriver, screwing all the screws in. Wow, so handy! With the power of my magical elves and shadow hands, you can now see the fans and the power supply inside with some nice cabling which I will be showing y'all later maybe if I turn it around but yes, I'm gonna put the motherboard in. I'm just gonna be really careful because I don't want to destroy anything because you know I am Depth Destroyer, that's my nickname. So how to know if it's fixed, uh, you can just try to make sure 
you move it a little and make sure that it doesn't move so that you know that it's in place with the trusty screwdriver you know like I said magnetic is the best doesn't drop yeah we're gonna try to screw everything in okay let's go I will now screw the last screw in so that it doesn't drop okay so now it's fixed in place we're good to go and we're gonna plug all the cables in to put it in this cable okay this one's in just hurt the click uh can i take out the ram first and do this i think we should because it's blocking me at the moment so before we continue i'm gonna take the ram out first i'm gonna put it aside first and then yeah, I see it's much easier. I can finally see the, the cabling, so I think it's a lot easier. I'm gonna slot this in real quick. Okay, this is in. Wait, hold up. Okay, there we go. It's in as well. Okay, and here we go. Just slot this in real quick. All right. It's the ram! Da 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 da! I'm gonna slot this in real quick. Dun 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 Ta da 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 Okay, before I finish with this area, i just like to mention, fun fact, the Z11 case is called Z11 because the motherboard is tilted 11 degrees! Yay! After struggling a while with the motherboard inside the Z11 case, we have finally come to the AIO cooler and this cooler is the ROG Real 240 liquid CPU cooler and we have already unboxed it. It's outside so I'm just going to show you guys the box so you guys know how it looks like because ASUS is wonderful. Anyway, just trying to uh, have a first look. I, I've never seen a a CPU AIO cooler before, like outside, because it's always in my computer already. So, from first glance, it kind of looks like a. Hello, can you hear my heartbeat? You know, it kind of looks like something like that. I mean, I don't know why I'm holding it like this, but you know, it looks like a stethoscope. So, I mean. Maybe, you know, it's gonna be easy to put in. Fingers crossed. Now we will put in some RGB fans and just to let y'all know, RGB is life. RGB wins you games and RGB may or may not get you a girlfriend. Well, I mean, that's up to you to decide. Clockwise song with the clockwise song and I'm going to screw this down. Clockwise. Okay, so this is in place. So I'm just going to quickly do the other one so that we can move on to the next segment which is placing the AIO cooler into the Z11 case. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to put the case on the table. I am totally not prepared for this but this is the most exercise I've done in a whole year. Okay, so now I'm going to take the RGB cables and we're going to slot it behind so that we can attach it later on. I'm just going to push this first so that it's easier to put the cooler and the fans up together. So I'm just going to push, pull this together and then I will be able to slot this in very easily. So at this point, I'm just going to put the cooler over here and then we'll just leave it here so that everything is intact and in place. Now I'm going to take my trusty screwdriver and screw and install all the screws in. I'm just going to hold this in place and as usual we're going to sing the clockwise song. It is the best song that I've ever created in the century by my new album by the way. It's going to be a later single by Wolf Spain with two E's eventually. And we're going to screw this in clockwise, clockwise, clockwise. I gotta say this screw is really good though. Good screw. Okay, screwing this in. I'm going to just do this really quickly. This is very fast. Done! Now this is locked in place. I will continue to just put down the wires inside. 
and then we are ready to go. So, I'm gonna click this in. Okay, so now we are done with the RGB cables and I'm just gonna put this in. And then we're gonna tilt this the other way with my very thin noodle arms. I swear I've gotten a lot stronger today because of the computer. The casing is wonderful by the way, but moving on, we will uh, install the cooler on top. But before that, I need to grease it with thermal paste. I don't know if grease is the right word, but it says thermal greasy right here. So grease, greasy, same, same. And I'm just gonna swish, swish all over the risin. I think this is the most artistic I will get because I have never worked with thermal paste before. I kind of feel like Picasso right here, right now. And I'm going to just uh, install it into the standoffs. Let's put this in real quick. And then I will put in the motherboard screws and we should be done. Da, 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 da. Screw it in clockwise, screw it in clockwise. I have like, I think 10 renditions of the clockwise song. So like I said, if you guys want to buy my latest single, it will be available on Wolf's Bane with two E's. I'm just going to turn this real quick because you know, we can get to the next part of the cabling. And ta-da! So, now that uh, we have the rest of the cables, this will be pushed behind. I'm just going to put it down here first. Um, I need to put it inside here first. I'm just going to push it to the other side and then we will connect this later. Now that we have installed the AIO cooler in and all the other components, we are ready to put in the best part and that is the graphic card. I'm so excited. We will be putting in the ASUS. Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 3080 and this is a very nice card. I personally unboxed this myself and it is fantastic. So I'm going to show it to you guys right now. Da -da -da -da! Hey hey, shout out to Asus. This is a very very sleek design. I think I mentioned this a couple of times. So this is the back and the front. And I gotta say, this is probably one of the best cards I've ever seen. And I think in general, like the the design is, is just great. Like, I really love minimalistic stuff. So anyway, let's get to putting it in. So I'm just going to put this at the side. And I'm just going to make sure I slot this in properly. And flush it to the corner so that it clips the moment it sinks down. And there we go, that was the click. So with very minimal light, I will try to put the screws in place. Okay, I see it, I see it. And once again, with my trusty screwdriver, I'm able to do magnetic, wonderful things and put it in. So I'm just going to screw this one in first. Clockwork, clockwise, we are screwing the clockwork, clockwise in. I said, I already said like I have so many hit songs today and you know most of them will be going into my album Move Spain with two E's and it is screwed in place and now that we're done with that, I'm going to put in the PCIe, PCIe cables. So just, just let me snap on all the cables real quick so that we can move on to the final part Finishing up all the finishing touches and closing the case and then we can boot the computer up and see what happens. With my magical touch and my magical elves, the computer is done! Ta -da -da -da! I'm so excited, everything is all well in place. Just only one thing we're missing is 
pulling off the cover and let's go. Ah yeah. Now you can see clearly all the wonderful things inside that we were doing and screwing in earlier and installing. So you can see the graphic card. This is the GeForce RTX 3080 series Tough Gaming Asus graphic card. And we have the Corsair RAM all lit up with all the RGB fans inside. Also the AIO cooler and the ITX motherboard. So fun fact is Remember when we said that the case can be used horizontally and vertically? With this case, you can see everything inside nicely and you won't have to worry about having to only put the case in one position. So now, what you can do is, you can also see the 11 degrees inside if you were to turn the case the other way and that is why this case is called the Z11 ROG Gaming Case. So I'm so excited. I, you know, maybe gonna play around with it later. Maybe use it. I don't know. We'll see. But yes, and I think that's all for today. And I am really excited uh, for this case to be released in Singapore. Thank you, Asus, for the collaboration. And also, guys, let me just tell you all something. People like me cannot build PCs. I am not a professional, obviously, from all the cuts that you have seen in the video. So guess who can build the PC for you? Check out Poison PC, because Poison PC is the best company with premium builds. If you guys need a premium build today, remember to check out PoisonPC.com below with all the links available. And also follow me, I am uh, streamer at twitch.tv slash wolfsbane with two e's and also all my socials and also follow, follow poison pc socials below below okay below remember to check it out after below all right thank you so thank you so much guys i'm so happy to be able to do this video of how to not build a pc my style i guess i don't know but hey i guess i will see you guys very very soon and i hope you all enjoyed this video remember to like share and subscribe see you guys soon bye